we're now going to be looking at graphing equations like x plus 3y equal to 12. The idea is we want equations in two variables, in this case x and y. And a graph is just a visual of all of the solutions of this equation. Every single point on the graph, if I stick it in for x and y, will make a true statement here. And every single point that satisfies this equation is going to be on the graph. And there are several different ways to graph things. We're going to concentrate on what's called the point plotting method. And the point plotting method is the most basic form of graphing an equation. The idea, we just want to pick some numbers for x and solve for y. So let's look at some examples. So here's our first equation, y equal to 3x minus 2. And I went ahead and set up a table for values that we need to pick for x. We're going to start with negative 2. So I just stick negative 2 into this equation. That gives me 3 times negative 2 minus 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, minus 2 is negative 8. Sticking in negative 1, I would have 3 times negative 1 minus 2. So that's negative 3, minus 2 is negative 5. Sticking in 0, 3 times 0 minus 2 is negative 2. We then stick in 1, 3 times 1 minus 2 is 1. And finally we stick in 2. 3 times 2 minus 2 is 4. And now, now we can start looking at just plotting these points. This graph only goes to plus and minus 7, so I'm going to skip the first point. The second one tells me to go left 1 and down 5. I then need to go over 0 and down 2. Over 1 and up 1 and then over 2 and up 4. And once we've plotted our points, we just need to connect the dots. And now I have the graph of this equation, which happens to be a line. Let's look at another one. This time we're looking at negative x squared plus 3. So we start by sticking in values for x. Negative 2 squared is 4. I then have negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, so negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 0 squared is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3. 1 squared is 1, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. And finally, 2 squared is 4, so negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Now that I have some points, I can put them on the graph. The first point says go left 2 and down 1. I then go left 1 and up 2, over 0 and up 3, right 1 and up 2, and right 2 and down 1. And when we connect these, we try to do it in a smooth curve like this. So here's my graph of this equation. 